Morning everybody. Um, today we're going to go on a little bit of an adventure. Uh, we'll catch you in a bit. Right, I hope you enjoyed that uh, little intro. We certainly enjoyed the train ride here. Um, we're stopping at Ravenglass in the camper van, just myself and Leia, for just three nights, really. So we've not got a lot of time to plan a lot of photography that we wanted to do. We've had a look at books and on the internet for things we can potentially photograph around here, but we really wanted to go on the train. And that's brought us to a place called Dalegarth. And what we've decided to do is do a walk from here and literally bought most of our kit to be honest we've got wildlife lenses we've got macro lenses we've got landscape lenses we do know there are some um, waterfalls on this walk that we've picked to do it's about six and a half miles so uh, not too strenuous although that could change with all the kit that we're carrying so yeah we're going to head off now around the walk bring you with us and then we'll we'll photograph what we photograph as i say we've got wildlife lenses and macro as well so uh, yeah, it will be a little bit of an adventure, so we will catch up with you later. Right, I just thought I'd uh, give you a quick update. We've done about three and a half miles of the walk. Um, and what we've decided is we're going to actually retrace our steps back. We've come quite high up, as you can probably see behind me now. And um, the problem we've got is because we've got to get the train back at 4.30, if we miss it, we've got about another seven mile walk to get back over the hills to the campsite that we're at so we can't really afford to miss the train um, and because we're doing photography as we're going along as well it's really i wouldn't say slowing us up but um that's something we've chosen to do if we were just hiking you know we'd get around fairly easily six and a half miles in however many hours we've got we've got you know we got off the train at um, probably about quarter past ten this morning so we'd have loads of time to get back for half past four, but because we're taking photos, it's a case of either we really try and chuck us way around as fast as we can and then probably don't have any time to do any photography or we uh, make a decision to make our way back, actually look at some of the locations a bit better that we've already come through. Um, I think what we're going to do is walk on the opposite side of the River Esk. We came up one side and go down the other and there's also a nice waterfall, I think, that we're hoping to be able to get to um, on the way back as well. So that's the plan. Um, any photographs we've got already, I'll stick them up now and I'll catch up with you when we back, get back down in the valley. The other thing that we've got an issue with as well is, is the wind. It's really strong. Probably doesn't look it here and it's probably got reasonable audio, but we're behind some rocks and in a little bit of a dip. If we go over the top here, it's literally, I've had to tape the hat on because it's been trying to um, disappear down the valley all the time and we're not anywhere near as high as, high as we were going to get so yeah I think we've probably made the right decision and um, hopefully some nice photography back down in the valley a little bit later on. Hello everybody and welcome to day two of our little trip up here into Cumbria to Ravenglass. Yesterday didn't go to plan particularly, well it did walking wise but not photography wise, let's put it that way. Um, it was just such a blue sky day that um, we hoped to do a bit of landscape photography but it was just not conducive to it at all. And I'll stick a couple of images up we took yesterday that just show really 
um, you know, we weren't getting the drama that we wanted in the images. So in the end, we ended up just walking and forgetting about the photography. We did get a couple of images. Um, I got a nice picture of a wheat ear up on the top when we were right at the top. And um, what we decided to do today is have a little bit of an easier walk. So we've come up the coast, we've walked north. Um, and basically there's a big set of sand dunes and a dune system up here. And what we're going to do today, we're just going to have a wander around here and then see what we can see as regards birds and uh, animals up here and see what we can uh, take some images of. So that's the plan today. Um, I don't know what we'll get. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, have a wander around and see what we can find. And I'll catch up with you later. Right, I think I'm going to finish the video today. It was um, a little bit of a strange one. Had a good walk around the dunes and we <laughs> really sort of got stuck in one place. I don't know whether you can see this um, gorse bush behind us, but we've just been sort of entertained for about an hour and a half with uh, a couple of stone chats um, in this area. And literally we're just able to sit down about 10 metres away. Um, we'd actually sat down for a coffee and uh, then these started to entertain us and they were coming to the tops of the gorse and uh, we were getting loads of shots and uh, loads of filming. And yeah, it's just been a really relaxing, really couple of hours before we make the trek back along the coast. So um, um, what I could say really about this trip up to Ravenglass, it's, it's somewhere where obviously there's, you can't just explore it in one day and you, there's so much potential for photography not only because you're on the coast but you've got the mountains right behind you um, the lake district so um, it really is just a massive area that you could you could actually spend a lifetime up here taking taking images so we've really only just touched the surface in a couple of days done the best we can really um, and tried to incorporate the photography into other stuff we're doing which isn't always easy Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the footage of the train ride as well. Um, if you come up here, I can definitely recommend you get on that. Um, it really is fantastic. Um, if you get good weather, get on the open carriage uh, like we did. Absolutely wonderful. Anyway, I'll see you next week for another one. Um, hope you've enjoyed this one. As always, if you have, give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed to the channel, then please think about subscribing. See you soon.